Ken has got a project that celebrates everlasting love and our close family bonds as well, and it all fits together just so perfectly, Ken. Kind of like you. Like you and me. Well, that, that's true. This is the duo. <laughs> I love this. I love doing yeah. uh, ideas with you. I love, like, you know, I love pictures and I love family, and I wanted to find a sort of different way to kind of present our family photos okay. to sort of make them sort of a bigger thing and also make a little statement. Beautiful. So we came up with these sort of puzzle family portraits that really do celebrate all those elements that come together. So It's pretty clever, I gotta say. I always, just always say when I was single, I'm a weird, oddly shaped person. I need to find the other weird, oddly shaped person Person that makes me whole, and that's what Mike is, and I think that's what you found, Vanessa. Exactly. We all have right. our own unique, and, and it's interesting because you look at just like life. You're looking at this. I'm looking at little pieces, and you only see a small fraction, but then it all fits together into as the big one. family yeah, portrait. So, if you want to see, actually, we have the photo of what this was. This is from our vacation last summer of the family. Okay. There we go, and that's what I started with. I turned it black and white, Aww. blew it up, and then separated out those elements to get to our actual one here. Mm -hmm. Same thing with the one with Debbie's family. Oh, um, there Debbie, it is. John. Yes. Um, and again, it, this one I kept color. There it is. And because of the shape and all, and I love the way all their hands intertwined um, in Alexander's lap. So that became a separate puzzle piece. So you sort of look at the picture and figure out what are the key elements and turn those actually into the puzzle I pieces. I love that photo. Good. good. So okay, let's see. We've got first. Debbie. We've got me. I'm feeling a little left out. We're missing camp. Oh, so we are going to take this guy. lovely photo. This guy. Look how you're a baby there when wow. you two got You're married. supposed to say I look exactly the same. <laughs> That's what, what I meant. That's what I meant. That's you're what I meant. You're supposed to say you haven't changed a bit, but whatever. <laughs> whatever. Okay. Um, right. So figure out your, your picture. Now we're going to get our puzzle pieces. Now what I'm using here is balsa wood sheets. Yeah. Um, balsa wood is very soft, very easy to work with. Um, you can cut it with an X-Acto knife. You can use a jigsaw. Um, I'm going to use our little Dremel. Well, I. You are going to use our okay, little Dremel table saw here. Okay, that's good. Never done this here. with a Dremel. Okay, great. All we're going to do here first is draw our puzzle pieces. And you don't have to be exact. You know, just sort of do something that... And you will not be able, do not feel bad when you aren't able to follow these lines exactly okay. on the Dremel because you won't. But it doesn't really matter. He says in anticipation. Because I knowing. couldn't. It's, it's, you know, you get obsessed but with But this all the is a little thicker for, than uh, typical balsa wood. So an X-Acto knife would be tricky for this one, This right? is a little bit heavy. You can do okay. it with a sharp X-Acto knife. You can also right. get the stuff that is indeed a lot Beautiful. softer. And that's very easy to do. Um, this Dremel set is one I did in our craft tool review. It's just a regular Dremel on the bottom. Yeah. And then it hooks into this. But you can that's also good. use a regular jigsaw um, at home. Ooh. Now, while you're cutting, I'll ask you, do you know what the original Jigsaw puzzle was? I do not. It was actually a map that used to post maps back in the medieval times onto wood and then cut them into pieces for easily traveling and, and moving along. And that's really where the whole Jigsaw thing started. Um, and obviously, usually, traditionally uses a Jigsaw to actually cut it. I want you to know I am paying attention. I know, you're, uh, you're, you're getting there. So, folks at home, you can see how you do it. You don't have to stress <laughs> too much about it. Just go straight across there all the way. Oh, okay, extra. we'll cut it all the way There out. we go. There we go. You get the idea. You get the idea. Not too bad. I was doing really well there for a moment, but that's pretty good, actually. I know you, just, got, you got distracted by all the wonderful history. I was. I, lo I love hearing <laughs> your history. I love when you bring that into, uh, you know, one of your DIYs. Okay. So all you're going to do here, you continue cutting out, get a little piece of sandpaper, knock off your rough edges. You shouldn't have too much. And you're going to end up you know, with a piece like this. Now we've got to get the photo. Now, as far as the photo goes, what kind of paper should we put these on? It depends. I liked using a photo paper, so okay. I used a hard, high-gloss photo paper. Yeah. But you can also use a matte paper if you don't want the shiny look. That is really kind of up to you, but I, okay. did like, I did like the photo paper. And then as far as attaching it, you have to put the pieces together first before you attach it, So correct? you sort of need to figure out. So okay. you print out multiple copies, and when I look at this, I see, obviously, this beautiful sort of, you know, section here, and then something about, you know, her holding the wedding bouquet. So I decided that those were the two pieces oh, I really nice. wanted to focus on. So you're going to, um, such a cute it's picture. Sweet. It's so I cute. Mean, I love how, yeah. How many years ago was that? I'm not sure I've examined the photo in detail quite like you have. Like it's the very fact that sweet. you're looking at all the little specific elements. I'm actually serious. So that's kind of nice for me to look at it in a different yeah. way right now. So what we're going to do yep. is we're going to say, okay, I want to focus on the two of you. So I'm yep. going to get my puzzle piece. Okay, and this is just spray adhesive. Just yep. spray adhesive. Yep, very good. You're going to put it right down there. Mm -hmm. And then you would get your other piece and say, okay, I'm going to focus on the bouquet. Again, oh, more spray glue. I and sort of put see. it so that you get, we're going to pretend this is cut there. Yeah, I understand. 
So, boom, done. Then all you're gonna do, flip it over, yeah. and with your X-Acto knife, Cut around around the, the edge. edges right, exactly. of the puzzle piece. Just very like very that. simple. I was wondering about that little. And detail. I've got okay. one that you're done. So then you end up with. You had that all of these little that. things hidden and placed on the table. Everybody, <laughs> he did such well, a I gotta good job. I got to be careful because you come and start to like rummage around and sort of see what's going on. So you know, on. he was like planning this all just as a big surprise. <laughs> this is very kind. And now, as far as mounting it and making it a real presentation, exactly, it's almost a 3D aspect to it, right? So what I'm using is I found these wood, um, these wood mats, these wood sort of frames that are very inexpensive at one of the art supply stores. You can get them really anywhere. Yep. Um, I cut out some extra pieces of puzzle and Good. I'm gonna put those sort of as a background. I then did vinyl letters, I love you to pieces. And then what I'm gonna do is all I'm gonna do is take anything, you can use your extra balsa wood or you can use little corks and create your Level, so I'm going to. Whoopsie. I got you. Yeah. Put that one on the high. You're doing all the work. There. I can do something around here. Do yeah, that. good. And then I'm going to get a little lower one here, and I'm going to okay. put a little bit of glue on that. I'm going to put that wow. on the back of our bouquet. Look at this. And, and then, then I'm just, just going to place just that. Just some stick-on letters, and then you're good to yeah, go. Yeah, get vinyl letters. I either buy them pre done Use your your cutout more, and I'm going to put that right. And I don't even there you know go. what to say. Now make sure Vanessa doesn't see this tomorrow and you can give it to her for Valentine's Can I, lo Day. I love you to pieces. Oh, I love you to I pieces. I love you to pieces. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting so emotional and sweet around here. You can download today's steps from our website and connect with Ken on his website and his social media page as well.